so this was the original video okay of him um again daddy freeze you know uh the uh on here personality in nigeria popular is no longer on radio anymore on public radio uh, a regular radio ta tertiary radio they call it uh, uh, or terrestrial radio I'm, I'm not sure something like that um it's no longer on traditional radio it's now just youtube you can check him out you know he has he, he preaches he talks about trendy topics and stuff like that but uh this is him talking and advocating for women uh in the beginning of that video saying that women should just go get second husband too I'm like second husband this is where i disagree with him again it's not a matter of equality. It's not a matter of what about is in, right? We don't get to do that as human beings. A man is different from a woman. That's always gonna be that case. It's part of our major, a major characteristics of human beings, socialization, all right? And also survival. Also, yeah, survival instinct. And, you know, because of biology, right? And so many, so many variables, right? That we really can't afford to be capping about, right? Let me play the video. Life in Nigeria offers women very poor options. Sadly, life in Nigeria offers women very poor options. I went on to say, just to strike a fair balance, our women ought to start marrying second husbands. For once, let's stop tilting scripture and tradition in the favor of misogyny and patriarchy. Rather, we should embrace the words of Christ from Matthew 22, 39 that say, love your neighbor as yourself. If we were to follow this devoid of prejudice and stereotyping, then it will make absolute sense if women could also have other husbands. Because if you truly loved your wife as much as you love yourself, like scripture instructs, then why shouldn't she be polygamous if you opt to be? And a lot of people are saying that if he is leave y'all, leave y'all, leave y'all. He brought his matter to social media. You need to understand what is my walk. Let me tell you what my walk is for those of you that don't know. So he's saying that this guy, this guy right here, he brought his own matters to social media. So that gives us the right to talk about it. I agree. We can create content around it once you bring it to social media, especially as a public figure. So I agree with that. Um, but again, right there in that video, he was actively using a verse in the Bible to manipulate his own ideologies into another person's lifestyle. Now, could this guy be wrong? Remember, this is never about right and wrong. I always tell you that, right? Could this guy be wrong? Could he be actively trying to manipulate his first wife into a polygamy? Because there's actually um, another platform that brought out a tweet that the wife, let me let me just go ahead and show you this really quickly, that his wife, uh, that, indicate, that indicated that the wife was not happy with it. I think the wife said something about God will punish the two of you. When you say that, that's curse. That's a curse. That's cursing a person out. Okay, in Nigeria language. When you say God will punish, I mean, you understand that in English, right? So, but just in context, it's, uh, it's like somebody is pissed off at you. It's like saying, fuck you. <laughs> right? That's what, it's, that's what it's like, right? So, um, let me go back here. Um, so, if we go back here, I wanted to go back to his Instagram page and then showed you uh, some of his posts since since he posted that right so he he posted this this right and i think this was the okay that's not the second wife i showed you second wife earlier this is the first wife right so he goes right after he posted uh this picture of the son a brand new son because he has other children with his first wife uh older children like 16 17 18 older teenage years right and right after that he posted his second wife is so when at the end of that video he kept saying um people are saying and these are sizable books they are minimum 200 pages uh, you can download them absolutely for free uh, by simply going to for example this one you just go to get my marriage back.com smart real estate wholesaling.com uh, real estate money secrets.com so yes i am a three times author those books are out there for your for your
consumption and they are also available everywhere on Amazon, anywhere that you pick up books. So in case you prefer a physical book like that, leave y'all, leave y'all. The name of this guy is Y'all Edoche, y'all, not you, y'all Edoche, right? And this guy posted his wife and he said, number one, meaning the, the first wife. So in Nigeria, um, it is very important that I say this. If you're the first wife, no one will ever take your position if you stay in that marriage. If you stay in that polygamy marriage, your first position is your first position, okay? At least from an ideology standpoint, at least from a paper standpoint, okay? Uh, you're number one and you are the senior and you will always be the senior. Now, in reality, in that family, right, if you keep them at the same house, there is jealousy, okay? There's envy, there is crisis, there is conflict, right? Imagine waking up every day, okay, maybe every other day or every other week to two women fighting in your hallway, in the hallway of your mansion. That's not fun. I don't care what you say, okay? So that's why if you're terrible at maintaining a relationship with a woman and you go try to practice polygamy, you will basically multiply what you already got. It's not going to be better just because it's polygamy. Polygamy it's uh it's absolutely uh monogamy is a western construct it is what it is right but most nigerians okay at least the west are westernized enough to that's their thing that they've been socialized at least in the past two generation to thinking that that's our norm it wasn't our norm it was the norm to have polygamy now the idea that people just went and just find a wife because it's time for second wife like they deliberately intentionally do it is false a lot of times it's a side chick that got flipped into a second wife or third wife, right? It's just people being people still, okay? It doesn't make any difference. So polygamy doesn't fix relationship issues is the point, right? So he posted this, but then it looks like he's trying to save face. That's the speculation, okay? So now back to Daddy Freeze, the radio guy, right? He's now saying, you know what, if we're going to be unfair, because he's speculating that the wife is not subscribing to the, the first wife, right? Because even the second wife, quote unquote, has not posted anything about it, uh, at least the last time I checked, right? Let me see here. All right, so let's go back to here. All right, so let's go back to Daddy Freeze. Life in night. So that's what he was saying here that, you know, uh, uh, second wife but then bringing bible verse to say love your neighbor as your servant or that sounded like it was trying to manipulate uh the scriptures really from a religion standpoint into culture you know the thing is that the reality is what we're seeing the results were created right and you can avoid reality all you want but you cannot avoid the consequences of avoiding reality nigeria offers women very poor options I went on to say, just to strike a fair balance, our women ought to start marrying second husbands. For once. That's not balanced because the women are not socialized like that. An average woman would tell you that's terrible. I don't want a second husband. So that's cap. Again, in the spirit of actively pandering to women, you're missing it, daddy freeze. Most women, we're not subscribed to what you're talking about because they haven't been socialized to be that. The women that want that, they don't share that. They go get a second husband. We just hear it as news later. But most women don't want that. So again, I don't know what the point of this is. If it's just to create content, kudos to you. Congratulations. I'm right behind you. But I will be saying my truth here, always. Let's stop tilting scripture and tradition in the favor of misogyny and patriarchy. Misogyny and patriarchy, guess who perpetuates them the most? Women. Does it make you right or wrong? I think it's irrelevant. I think people are just people. Rather, we should embrace the words of Christ from Matthew 22, 39 that say, love your neighbor as yourself. If we were to follow this devoid of prejudice and stereotyping, then it will make we all practice the same thing. Let's go, let's go ahead and move on to the next segment. And 